What's happening, everybody? Brandon Abandon, 6'4", exploring with Herb Stickman. I got a very cool spot for you guys today. I'm out at a really cool time capsule. There's just so much stuff left behind here. I'm not sure if there's power or not. I don't think so, but I only did just a quick little walk around, just opened the front door, did a lap of the main floor, and that was it. So we're going to love this house. You guys are going to love this house. Let's get exploring. I'm gonna start at the front of the house. I'll show you a bit of the porch. We got a ton of some of the animal crap starting over here. The ceilings falling down everywhere. You can even see right into right into the roof there, right into the house. A little kid slide, some skids, some tiles. What's cool is we got an old Ford truck. Show you a little bit of the house here. And the snow and the beautiful property. Like completely in a forest here. Here we got the Ford. We got a dog house. We had a little a little snow machine to clear this giant property. Another old vehicle. It's another Ford. We got a bunch of wires. We got a little shed. It's a whole lot of tires. That's all. And you look over here. Another truck hanging out. Very cool. There's also a pool in the backyard. It's a bit tough to get around the property on the outside. So we'll see if we can get to it from the inside. So let's make our way in here. Can't believe how much crap is built up right there by the front door. It's got that abandoned smell. Starting off with a ton of stuff. A whole lot of speakers. Bunch of movies. There's nothing in there. A little sailboat picture as well. Just give you a quick little peek. See what I mean? This place is full. Another nice sailboat picture. Bunch of sailboat pictures. Seems to be what all these are. The Yacht of America Club. I guess from here, look at the wood and the, the wallpaper. The curtains and the wallpaper match. That's pretty cool. Yeah, check this out. Sailboat. I'm not sure why the couch is up on an angle. Turn this down a little bit, kill a bit of that reflection.
very cool. A couple green lamps. Another picture. Check these out. How cool those are. Giant boat. Starting to get quite dusty. Got all your DVDs. Or sorry, VHSs. A lot of good names too. That's pretty cool. All your different knots that you tie. That's cool. I guess this is going to be the sailboat room. Again, that couch on an angle like that. I'm not sure what's going on unless it was half out of here. They were moving it. Is that a big name? Let me know in the comments. But again, those are cool. All right. All right. It looks like the cupboards and everything are open. It's looking like somebody's been here doing a bit of rummaging. That's pretty cool. It's a lot of old electronics. Very sweet. A couple old like bullhorn speakers. Like a whole bunch of weird supplies, marble and everything. It's like they were gonna start to renovate the house. But then stopped. Oh, stepped on a Christmas light. So I'm just going to go slow. And let you guys take it all in. That's really cool though. The stone wall with the wood. Real old blowtorch. A sailboat in a bottle. Those drinks are looking a little old. Even that's old. Appliances are all quite dated. Small cassettes. Not much going on in any of those. Like how old's that? But it's very cool. No bread. Yeah. Look how bad those handles are. Nasty. I don't even want to touch those. A couple phone books. Got a happy Father's Day. The drink's got a 2015 date on it. And that almost seems like that would have been no, no ringtone in the phone. All their personal little cards and numbers they've collected. The full two four of the of the drinks. Maybe an explorer tried to pull one out because he was thirsty, but decided no, not if it looks like that, <laughs> not if it's that old. And here, like tons of family photos, people at a swimming pool, but like that whole chunk stuck together now. <laughs> And this is all one chunk. So yeah, these have been here for a while. 
can't even separate the pictures. Just a bunch of paperwork. All the couches, plants are well gone. I'm going to show you one room too. And it's going to blow your mind how bad it is. And see, like that's for bathrooms. The concrete board there. I work with that stuff. So that's very, very strange that it's here. They're definitely, definitely were trying to redo this place at one point. I'm not sure why they stopped. What happened? It's more paperwork. I don't want to look into too much of that. But got a bunch of family photos. I almost need to see if we can't find this family. Let the kids know that this house is just sitting here. Maybe they do know. Maybe things just got too expensive right now. Swimming or <laughs> bathtub. But the reason I almost said swimming pool is because, see, I'm not going to open this door and go treaching snow through here. We got a pool and a nice deck all the way around. It's tough to see if you're out there because it's all just snow. I say the cooler part of this area is inside here anyway. Like look how bad the roof is getting here. Let me show you guys. You can see the water damage and see it's starting to fall down. That's just not the stucco either, that's the whole, the whole ceiling's coming down. So when we're walking around upstairs, we're gonna have to be careful. There could be a weak spot right there. A couple nice like pool table lights down there. Well, I'd use them for a pool table. Put them over nice and low. Love those features. And that's one crazy uh, chandelier. Old sewing machine. The new home. It's got that retro color, right? That 70s look to it. This is all just fabric and material. <laughs> oh. Look at all these little hockey players. They, they belong on here. <laughs> I guess he's the goalie, so he goes over there. Very cool. Power play. It's getting stained yellow from the age and from just sitting around. Things gigantic. But a really cool blue color. Bet you a lot of work's gotten done on there. I didn't even mention these. These soft. Soft orange curtains. Keep orange crushing it. Alright, that was that room. This door leads to the basement. I checked it out. Whew, smells wet and moldy down there, but we're gonna check it out. And a whole bunch of more material, tools. Real old carpet. I think I had that exact same <laughs> light fixture in my house. The same glass, the same leaves. Dolly, cowboy hat. I just got your laundry room. Seems to be storing a bunch of, a bunch of blankets. Some coat hangers. 
just a bunch of random cleaning stuff and materials. Same in there. Oh, we can get to the garage from the inside. That's pretty cool. It's a bonus. We got all the boots and all the jackets. That's crazy. The old bell jacket. <laughs> a fishing vest. Some old school, old school leather. This guy, or maybe he was just in construction because there's some hard hats in here. He's got steel toe boots. So hopefully this guy wasn't a brother of mine and maybe had an accident at work. Because all of his tools, everything's all here. It's another nice light. So I don't know. I don't know what to expect. I'm hoping nothing bad. That's cool. A little makeshift cross just to make sure everything's good. These cloth tops on the toilets, they're really weird to me. They shouldn't be in here. Shoes. There's no water. That's a gross. Almost looks like there's a finger in there. Yeah, that's crazy. I guess we'll go upstairs, right? Before we check out the garage. Even noticing some glasses hanging up here. Copper fittings. Alright. We'll do a little circle. Just want to show you right here. ceiling remember I was saying how you could see the outside look at the light maybe while they were trying to fix it they were downstairs doing work and then all of a sudden the roof up here just started falling down no we're not gonna go over there cuz remember that weak spot we seen downstairs there could be one right here tons of like carbon monoxide detectors and what else is over there? LED lights for stuff. Boxes of things. There's a the pool again. The big old backyard. Beautiful forest. Even over here. A whole lot of bedding. Some nice, some nice lamps. A whole bunch of these pins are inside that. What's this? Ooh. Looks like some jewelry. Let me just show you guys what's all in here. Some brooches. Little scissors. A nice bracelet. Some earrings. Very cool. Very cool. I like the elephants in the Egyptian style. And like all this stuff under the insulation. All these boxes are all full of what they're supposed to be. A Mark V controller. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Don't know what it would be for. Right before that big room, we got the bathroom. That's pretty cool. Somebody was smoking in here. Jesus and Mother Mary. Those are cool. 
I like them. Another cigarette in the uh, in here. And right, so that's definitely stuff from from after from workers or just when this place started to have no water, no power. I'm gonna show you these lights there that are hanging. Those are very cool. Just trying to keep myself out of the mirror. What's up everybody? I don't need to be showing myself off in every single one. Lots of linen. You got a, oh, an oxygen mask. Oxygen tank and mask. Uh-oh, that's never good. Oh, the ceiling's falling down too. Yikes. What do we got around here? That's pretty cool. The Hunchback of Notre Dame. Made in the USA. A whole bunch of Disney pictures. Those could be worth a pretty penny if they're originals or anything to do with that. Bambi. Very, very cool. Hey, Fraggle Rock. I had Fraggle Rock books. Tons of family photos again. Just take a little bit of a look like this, but I'm not going to go flipping through them. We looked at a bunch downstairs, and it almost gets to a point where you start to feel... You start to feel rude. Fan, ceiling lights, an extra toilet. Look at all this animal crap inside the house now. <clears throat> if it wasn't for that fan, that whole piece would have come right down. Nice purple. All this clothes left behind. And some little slides, more pictures, certificates for stuff, and perfumes, real old sweaters. <laughs> Those pictures are cool. Those are just some self drawings. I'll just show you. See what I mean? Playboy bunny. Is that a real horseshoe? No, plastic. Let's <laughs> see, it didn't look. It didn't look right. Mm. So someone's definitely been here rummishing. That's no good. Alright. Never noticed those hanging up too, the curtains on the door. We've got more, more paintings here. The True North. I guess maybe that's what these blankets were for here. I'm just going to try and wrap them up and take them. They're not even really that nice. Flowers and <laughs> random stuff like that. What's going on? What's going on? Light fixture? Everything piled up on the bed so nobody's been sleeping here for a while. This roof's starting to look a little bit... a little bit wavy. wonder if it's going to start to fall down soon. Oh. That's flashing. So some of this house has power. Look how old that TV stand is. He's got another one of them, or is that the empty box for the open one? Yeah. Some 
old pictures. <laughs> Elvis, the tribute to Elvis with the CD and everything. Let's turn that off in here. Eh? Tribute to Elvis Presley. That's very cool. Taking care of business. Random keychains and newspapers. He's got all of his glasses. <laughs> Shop foreman, Mario. He's got discs. He's got squares of wood for some weird reason in here. Construction. <laughs> That's really cool. That's a long time ago. Very, very neat. Very cool. Yeah. He's got a wallet up here. Somebody was going through. Old glasses. You know those pictures. Nope. There's a picture. Not sure what it is. More information. Here's a here's a calendar. From 2000. Not sure how old this place, how long it's been abandoned, but like, look how old that fan is. I guess some people just don't always go and get new, uh, new appliances. That's old too. This guy must have had a lot of kids. It's a lot of picture of kids, and they're mostly. Younger girls. Cool meter. Okay. They were starting to make these closets. So these weren't here before. That's what some of the drywall would have been for. They would have finished here. Whoa. Crayons and markers and those are some more files. Yes. Personal information. More pictures, keys. See what I mean? Lots of daughters. <laughs> Lots of daughters this guy had. That's cool. The big old school picture. Just more materials. A little tiny shower. This is a pretty cool place. I really enjoyed this spot. We're still not done. We still get to go check out the basement. So we're here at the garage to see what's all going on in here. Looks like a ton of everything. You got a sled up there. Tools everywhere. An old moldy freezer. Is there food in there? Oh lord, look how bad that is. Whew. Doesn't smell very good neither. Got a little snow blower. Bunch of plywood. Whole lot of material. Some old skis. Drywall's falling down in here too. This piece was supposed to be up there. <laughs> the old beam machine. Some fishing rods. All right. So that's it for the garage. It's pretty cool. It's full. 
just unfortunately it's too full that we can't really get around all right everybody last but maybe not least the basement again it stinks quite the cobweb whoa uh-oh uh so these stairs are broken but we made it Ooh, did you hear that noise you take a peek look none of these are connected all on that side one, two, three, four, five. Gotta be careful there. Okay, uh, not sure where to start. Holy crap. All right, so it's definitely not least. All these kids' toys. thing there and it's carpeted off if you were a kid and you had this whole basement to play and all these toys you were lucky you were happy look at <laughs> a ton of Barbies and a Corona can <laughs> darts with no flags a little German Shepherd. More pictures and stuff. But look, they're all frozen together too. Well, not frozen, just from age. Another speaker. There's the stairs for the pool. More toys under there. Even a Bowflex. Got a bunch of these old school fans, that's funny. Oh, come back to me, there we go. There's this little work area, this work room. That's cool. Doing some woodworking. Tons of jars. More cassettes. This thing here is really cool. Crazy Jeep. I'm sure what's going on. Like they were trying to build a teepee. And then an old shelf. Let's go back through the kids' area, shall we? That's awesome. Very, very cool. That bear almost looks evil. This is an awesome basement. It's nice and tall like mine. I don't got to bend down. Very cool. All right, everybody. What did I tell you, eh? So much stuff left behind. Blows my mind sometimes how this happens. Even with the cars and all that left on the property. Like, it's just nuts. I don't understand, but I guess that's life, right? That's the circle of life. It happens. Like it, subscribe it, share it. Thank you for the comments, for the love, for the views, for the support. Brandon abandoned. See it starting to get windy out here. I'll catch you on the next explore. Ciao. Oh,
Since we open the wounds of left brain. Re- 